Hello everyone, this is New Tolling Host Summer. Welcome to the New Tolling Studio. In the 5G era, voice services are evolving towards intelligence, interaction, and immersive. So large motor and computing power, the new vitality will be brought in the new voice industry. The active participation and open cooperation for all industry will certainly bring, bring huge social value and business value. New Tolling Summit 2023 has been held in Paris Convention Center in France on 25th October. It aims to provide insight into industry trends, innovative development suggestions, best practices for the voice industry, and promote the establishment of sustainable industry development ecosystem. Today, I'm very pleased to invite Omar, Yuan Investment Manager from Tor Telecom, and Chen Haiyun, President of Huawei Cloud Network Product Line, to join us in the new Tolling Studio in Paris to discuss about Voti. Hi, please introduce yourself to the audiences. My name is Omar Dedolu. Uh, I have been working for uh, to Telecom almost uh, 12 years. I am working as a mobile investment manager, and uh, that's all, I guess. Yeah, and uh, Hayoung? <coughs> okay, hi everyone. <coughs> My name is Hayoung Chen, and I'm from Huawei Cloud Corp. That's line. Now I'm in charge of the CS and the IMS domain. So I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to uh, have share some of our thoughts for the voice industry. Okay, Thanks. thank you. Thank you for joining us in the new Tolling Studio to discuss the topic on Voti today. First question I want to ask Omar. They know that the Voti construction of Tor Telecom has rapid development since 2020. Now the Voti penetration rate and the Voti quality have both ranked number one in Turkey. Yeah. Can you share the experience on the construction of the high quality Voti network? Yeah, actually as to Telecom, we give a special importance for customer experience. And in order to achieve this, we continuously monitor our uh, quality of services. For example, we already developed the in-house customer experience management uh, tool. And uh, by the help of this tool, we guarantee the customer experience. Uh, we are also constantly working with the uh, terminal manufacturers and uh, we try to be ensure that uh, the terminal compel the their every terminal has also uh, the voltage terminal capability and i think the other important thing is the uh, voltage coverage because we have already invested too much uh, in our network and currently we have 99.5 uh, voltage coverage uh, and uh, we i think we will i mean we need to uh, continue investing in the voltage in order to uh, support this better world experience. Okay, thank you, Omar. And the second, the second question is for you, Hayo. So we know that Huawei has helped over 200 operators to build their voting networks and has served over 1.4 million voting users. Can you share the experience of voting construction? Well, good question. So you know voting, so this is a fundamental thing of the 5G. So this is the industry trend. So from Huawei's point of view, we think that uh, maybe four phases we need to consider when we deploy the voting. First, in the first phase, so we need to deploy a simplified, converted, fundamental network. So build the network itself. Because usually when you deploy the voting, the CS and the voting will coexist for a long time. And uh, I think no one in the industry, they want to deploy, you know, continue to deploy on the CS part. So, I mean, from the beginning, we need to consider how to merge the CS part and the IMF part together so that uh, you can, for example, you can just have one management team to manage all this, right? Manage CS and manage IMS. And uh, at the same time, so which will bring very complexity for the network, right? So for us, we consider that we will build the single white core solution from day one. Then you can have uh, the same management team can manage both the CS and the RMS. And for the second phase, I think that, you know, we need to 
increase the penetration of the voting. And uh, to do this, to realize this, we need to consider how to precisely you know, promote the user, to change the, to move the user from the 2G, 3G to the voting. And uh, at the same time, also we need to consider, uh, you know, the roaming, because there are so many countries in the world. So some countries that develop VoLTE very fast, but for other countries, they still, you know, keep the CS networks. So how, what will happen when the CS users move from their country to your country? So we need to consider. And although from the standard point of view, we have the S8 uh, home routed solution, but I think it is far from enough. So we have a solution named IWF. So which means that when the CS user roaming in, and then we will, you know, uh, use our SVT solution and we will introduce the IWF uh, network element so that the CS user can also make the roaming call, even if the 2G and the 3G retired. And uh, for the uh, third phase, I think, you know, we need to consider about the monetize of the network. So at that time, of course, so first we need to make the, exper the user experience, to improve the user experience. So from day one, when we deploy the voting network, we need to consider about that. And after that, so we, will, we can introduce the new calling. For example, when the user pen penetration, the voting penetration is above, say, 60%, then we will introduce new service. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Hail. And for the third section, Omar, I want to ask you again. Yes. Um, based on the contracted top quality voting network, does TT have any future-oriented innovative plan? And what the new services to be provided for users in the future? Yeah, I mean, at Trip Telecom, uh, we believe and recognize the importance of uh, both the commercial and the uh, social significance of voice services. We have already uh, deployed uh, voice over Wi-Fi services. Uh, I think it is more of, for almost two years and it is a very success story. Uh, we have already seen its advantages to our customers. We also have uh, completed uh, 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 for, for one number service and it is the tests are already done and we are about to make it live uh, soon. Uh, since, I mean, we are committed to customer uh, satisfaction, uh, we follow the latest technology and we, uh, we closely follow what is going on on the new technologies and new services. So as part of this commitment, uh, for example, uh, we are currently committed to work with Huawei uh, uh, for providing this new type of calling services in the future. Hopefully we will work together. Thank you, Omar. And uh, the last question I want to ask you, Hayo, again. Uh, the vote is mature. What do you think will be the next development direction? And how can Huawei help operators develop new services? Okay, thanks. Uh, so as I just said, so when the vote user penetration uh, increased above 60%, then we need to consider about uh, bring the monetize the network. For example, new calling. So I need to maybe first make some clarification. So for the new calling, we, the, the target is not just, uh, you know, deploy some network element, but we want to build some platform. So together with the operators, the vendors, and the third party, for example, the ODDs, together we make this industry cake bigger. So this is our target. And to achieve such kind of topic, target, so I think uh, maybe we will also have, say, three phases. So for phase one, so we will do something which is terminal agnostic. So which means that uh, uh, it is not related to the capability of the terminal. For example, uh, nowadays we have some case we call a uh, light on the screen. So the main idea is that, uh, you know, the users, maybe they will have their digital characters such like Avanda characters. And then they will show these characters to the other side. You know, young people, they like to show themselves, right? Yes. So for such kind of service, then we can, you know, make the normal voice call. When you make the normal voice call, then you can light on the screen. 
just as if you are making the video call. So it's very, you know, uh, the, the user experience will increase a lot. So, and of course, for this space, um, we can also have some cases for the 2B scenario. Just know what I said is for 2C. And for 2B, we think that, uh, you know, the companies, they can make some advertisements, uh, show the video for advertisement, and they can directly push all these video uh, videos to the end users. So this is for the first case. And for the second phase, I think it is about the interaction. So, but it uh, depends on the capability of the handset. The handset needs to support the DC data channel. So with this, you know, uh, maybe two weeks ago in China Mobile, during the, their global uh, partner conference, they make some demo shows. So one case is for, for example, during the call, you can share your position. And uh, maybe at the same time, you can share some of the, uh, your files. So which also greatly includes the experience of the users. And for the third phase, I think, you know, we can introduce the AI, introduce some build computing powers into the network. So for example, the real-time translation. So as we have demonstrated uh, in our uh, booth. So for example, two people from different countries, and when they talk uh, with each other, they can make, we can make the real-time trans, uh, transformation. So for example, you are from England, I'm from China. Then I can, when you speak, so I can see the Chinese uh, words, and of course you can see the English words. And uh, of course, for example, as I just said, the Avanda, right? So nowadays we just uh, make some uh, video video shows and uh, to push it to the end user. But if with the AI, then you know all what I, my emotions or what I uh, the, the lips, I can think uh, nice in real time. So which it's amazing, you know. So I think. Uh, you know, in the 5G area. So together with the 5G technology and the AI technology, I think we have a very, how to say, um, a very big space to immunization. Thank you, Haiyun, and thank you, Omar. Voice in the tree has a great business potential and new development in the 5G and even 5.5G era and we are looking forward for its growth. That's all for today's interview. New calling, new future. See you in the next interview. Bye.